We do, right? Oh, and then we have to record. So it's already recording. Oh, okay. It records automatically, but but you can go ahead and start now with them. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna share my entire screen, and then sounds good. I like going to DZ Plot Tutor. Oh, I didn't know about that website, ggplot tutor. Uh yeah, let me put it in the chat. How neat is that? When did you Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Uh I was taking I forgot the guy's name. His name is Chris something. He's he's European. I don't know what European country he's from, but he has a class on the uh, uh, Udemy about yeah. Gigi plot uh yeah Chris Burkhart and he created this website so I always buy it when it's when they are having sales so I bought it for like 14 bucks but he has these apps and so uh, it helps you because like when it comes to Gigi plot there's just like so much customization you can do it's hard to like yeah. think about it yeah and so he has like these little like snippets where you can um modify so this so like the entire chapter um was basically talking about um how to customize um your plots with different themes so like different colors and stuff like that and so uh they said that they call them like theme elements so plot title and <laughs> I wish I can go up, like like this is the plot title this is tag etc um and then um I'm sorry that I'm not explaining this too, too well. Well, I'm, um, I'm, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it, I, I had never seen, uh, it being customized like this before. Like, so I don't know. Let's just go over the code because it, it seems like it's easier to go over the code than the actual te text. So, it just seems like this is a normal uh jitter plot like a sc scatter plot here and then they modify it by uh the labels so this is the label of the graph oh okay i guess you can give it a x label high wait oh okay So the X label is city mileage and the Y label uh, is highway and mileage um, gallon. And so um, by default, the labels will just be whatever you use to map it uh, aesthetically. So CTY and HWY uh, doesn't give us much um, description about what's going on. <laughs> if, so uh I'm glad that they have these labels on here. And then um the title uh -huh. just the main title of the graph. Uh I wasn't so sure about this, the 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 color um scale. Uh because I guess they changed the color of the actual um dots over here as well to new palette. Uh, that kind of tripped me out because I thought that it was going to be related to the labels, but it, it wasn't. So, um, does that make sense, or do you need me to explain it in a different different way? No, no, no. I love um our color brewer, our color brewer, brewer color brewer is an amazing package. Okay, I know they use it for like to see safe colors for people who are. Colorblind, right? Or is it just to make it look prettier? 
No, there are some, there are some um, colorblind specific packages. Um, um, there are some particular color schemes that are uh, for, for um, what's it called? Oh, uh, not blind, low vision, colorblind people, but that is not one of them because a lot of people are red, the kind of, there's different kinds of colorblind. And this one is for, this one would not work for someone who's red or green colorblind. Oh. And that's kind of the most, the most uh, well-known or the most common. Uh, so anyway and then it seems like the default um for the theme the default text height is like 12 um pixels 12, 12 points um both oh. oh for the labels uh yeah i think so as well or i guess they're changing it to 12 um pix um points and then changing the font to be bold for the for the plot title um because up here it doesn't you know it doesn't stand out and so that's oh uh, i see yeah what they did here and then background like <laughs> there's just like so much uh specification of of uh, plots so that's why i always like going here uh just to see like okay how how can i <laughs> What do I need to uh do to change the the type? Because it seems like there's like a couple of um functions. So element text is of course for like any of the text that appears on the on the graph. And then um there's like the rectangle um element as well. And so the rectangle element, it could just it could just be for this big um panel right here where all the points or all of your you know bar graphs show up or it could also be for the legend too so um it gets a little bit confusing um when it comes to trying to like make like customizations and then like element line um they usually use it for customizations of the of the access so yeah. um we go up here, uh, so you see 40, 30, 20, and 10. Yeah. Uh, they call it the major axis. And then like the lines in between it, they call it the minor axis. Oh, axis. I didn't realize that. Thank you. So in this graph, they're like, okay, make the minor X, you know, the grid, the grid minor. Um, blank blank and so you don't see those lines in between um the i don't know the x the axis is like 40 yeah. 30 yeah. 20 yeah so yeah so so we it's got interesting because that does it for both the x and y axis yeah and then uh let's see axis all right Okay, but yeah, but you can um customize it too, like you pointed out for both X and Y, and then if it's minor, it just takes out like both of them. So yeah, thanks for pointing that out. And so I think there's like three function, well four functions: element text, element rectangle, element line, and then element blank. And so whenever you use element blank, you just don't want it to appear. So, um, yeah. Hmm. And then, um, you know, there are already themes that are, have been already created um, for you uh, by the art community. So I guess this is theme gray. I don't, I think this is black and white theme. But I don't understand the difference between black and white theme and line drawn theme. They just see it looks like it looks like the axes, uh, the 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 Y uh axes. What are they called? The grid, grid, the grid, is different on the line draw. Okay. 
doesn't it? Like one to two has one, two, three, four, five. And it also looks like it's uh doesn't it? It looks like the grid is 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 much stronger for the first. Or am I or is it wrong on my screen? Oh, I don't know. I I just can't see because it looks like there's a, a line at one point two point one point two five where y equals uh or is it x? X equals one point two five. Sorry, x. Oh, okay. Yeah, the lines are different. Yeah. Yeah, the lines are different. Yeah, you're right. This one's more gray and this one's more like sharp and pronounced. Okay. That's it's like a very subtle change. I was just like they look Yeah, I know. It is subtle. And then yeah, there's other themes too, like dark theme. Um, and, and then yeah, if you want to be minimalist, you can just have theme board and you just have the points there. So yeah. um my favorite is this one, the silver. <laughs> the silver. Oh, it's a neat one, yeah. It looks like an old newspaper. Yeah. And then I guess this is supposed to mimic Excel, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. Let's see. And then I guess you can custom. This is what I was uh tripping over. I guess you can customize themes by um, same theme, and then you put in the plot whatever um customization you want like plot title bold or if you want to justify things h just is just like horizontal and v just is vertical mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i i just never seen it this way i've only seen it um oh okay i guess uh, i've just seen code like uh, this way instead of just having it very specific like this and then you can also you know change change up the margins like how things are spaced um together um and then yeah it, it goes into oh i see the margins can you go up again i want to see yeah. yeah this is interesting so this one has more This one has more space. Yeah, like the, yeah. Yeah. Um, have you ever done any uh web development, like any HTML code? A tiny bit, not much. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. Um <laughs> uh, trying to just space out like some of the text or some of the items in, on a on a web page. And then the same with the grid lines too. You can make it bold. You can make it dotted. So, and then, uh, yeah. And then rect element rectangle, it just draws like rectangles for the, for the background. Yeah. So you can change the colors if you want. And then, yeah, element black blank it just em empties things out so um the first one it empties out the the mini lines the miniature lines mm -hmm. and then the second one uh it just empties out the big lines as well um can you go up again can i see that oh yeah sorry <laughs> Oh, it's the minor and the major. Okay, see, yeah. Yeah. And then the same with the uh, using element blank for the access title. Uh, and the Y access as well. So mm -hmm. we have this X and Y and then we're just like, okay, we want to delete it and it doesn't show here. And then, uh, yeah, you can get even more specific. I mean, you, if you want to do it in centimeters and inches, uh, 
it's a little bit too specific for me um to figure out I've had to use this before oh really yeah yeah but not in ggplot I used it in base r base r you can do all kinds of things like that and I've had to use it before okay like putting in the you know I've made some plots that were really like very particular so so is there like a real really big difference between base R and like tiny verse R or do you use them in like conjunction with, with each other like together? You can use them in conjunction with each other, but they are totally they're totally different. Oh okay. So that's why I wanted to spend some time working in GG plot because it's not something I'm particularly you know I'm a little bit it's not it I'm not as good at that as I am in, in base. So yeah. But it's important to keep your skill set, keep learning. So, okay. yeah, I mostly use Python. <laughs> a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to learn it, but people tell me it's a lot easier than R. Is it? Yeah, it's a lot less wordy than R. Like everything is. I feel like R is very like specific, and then like in Python, I feel like you can pick up any like package, and you can just you know just... so there's standards the package has it has a standard format yeah yeah and i feel like in r is this like so much documentation that you have to read for like each each package yeah yeah but um i like the community uh when it comes to r uh better than the yeah, yeah. python community but i don't know maybe that's changing since I think the R and the Python community are trying to blend in together somewhat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, you can change um, the color of, of your theme as well. Um, so over here, uh, so plot background is like every time I uh move the mouse, it's it's the pink um thing and then um panel background. Let's see. It's the actual like mm -hmm. grid. So that's that's the difference. Mm -hmm. And then the text um and then what is Whenever I think of letting it think of like brownish. Yeah, it's like brown. Oh, it is linen. It's, it is a little brownish. But yeah, and then they reset it to the old theme. Oh, I see. That's the um that's the color of the uh the text and the okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And what's access title do exactly? Is that the no? Oh no, that's X and Y, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or uh, let's check the. Let's see access title. Yeah. So the display in highway. Yeah, X and Y. Yeah. yeah. And then. Yeah. So this is just a reiteration of what they're talking about so uh if you want to play around with the background you use element rectangle if you want to play around with the title you use text and if you want to play around with the the plot margins so like the i think the access the grid access lines you, you would use a uh, margin so, so over here plot so they're making the background uh gray over here and lined with two so mm. Okay. And then the same for here. 
the plot margin is just the way things are spaced out. And so it's kind of like pushed to the side. So, um, let me see. Yeah. So the margin, it goes from top right bottom and left so it's it's clockwise so we're saying we want the top margin to be two all, all the sides to be um two and then the steam it, it doesn't look the middle one and the the one on the left don't look very different to me i mean like am i missing something oh uh, there's like a little bit of space up here Maybe if I can zoom in. Oops. Okay, I zoomed in too much. <laughs> but yeah, there's like a little bit of tiny space up here. Oh, I see that. Oh, thank you. Um, I see the white around it. I really appreciate that. That was super helpful. Yeah, no problem. And over here on the right, and then now it's just completely like gray. Let's see. Yeah. And then, yeah, over here, they um, put it as, like, blue. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they're just telling you, like, what uh, function you can use to set what things in the axis. So um, anything with text, you just use element text. And then <laughs> anything with ticks or, or grid lines, you just use element line. Um oh yeah. Um so the first one um uh, access line, so it doesn't specify where there's X and Y, so it thicken the line width for both. Mm -hmm. Um, the second one, um, I guess it's just the text, so the numbers, so it, we change it to blue, and we ch change the size of the text to be 12, and then this one, we just specifying, um, the x-axis, and this is very weird. So they just switched the they flopped the x uh the x variables around ninety degrees, you know like the labels. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah. The ninety degrees. Okay. Yeah. And it says the most common adjustment is to rotate x. Okay. For like if you have really long text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Labels. Okay. So, and I'm just giving you a shortcut just to say um, horizontal adjusts zero, V adjusts is one. So, um, right here, um, they're just changing the X titles. I mean, yeah, the X text to angle of 30 degrees. Mm. Um, vertical is one, and yeah, H as just justification is zero. So okay, then legends, uh, legends. Um, yeah. So the background of a legend is, you know, it's just gonna be a rectangle, and then like inside of the rectangle, <laughs> you have many rectangles for each. Of the keys, so that's going to be rectangle, and it seems like most of the other functions you're going to use is units and then text. Everything that has text, we're going to use element text. So, and then, um, I guess the alignment is between zero, so that's right. Uh, 
to one, but just left. So, okay. Let's look at this. I don't know where they'd be getting these names for the colors. Like, I've never heard of Lemon Chevron before. <laughs> um, so the, yeah, so the legend is a, is a rectangle, and we want the color to be this yellow, yellowish. Mm -hmm. Um, and the color inside of the boxes are going to be regular gray. And we thicken the line width uh, to one. So, uh, so if we want to access the the little mini um rectangles that make up our keys, we use the legend key uh, function. And so, uh, make it gray, and then we kind of thicken up the the line width here. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the same goes for the legend text and title. So the title is going to be bold face and the text is going to be a lot bigger than the default. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, panel. So I forgot what is the panel. I always, I always it's, the, it's the, it's where the, where the numbers go okay yeah it's or, I'm just, where the data gets <laughs> is that the right word <laughs> yeah the data this is like the grid yeah so uh yeah so um yeah like i said every so most things the, the grid lines are going to be lines and then everything else you're going to just use the rectangle function. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So the background this is blue. And then this one, they just changed the line width for the, the major um, access. So the ones that have the numbers and then this one, they just changed it for the X values and not the Y values. So, yeah, it's it's straightforward. It's just like, it's just sometimes it's hard to remember. Um, um, aspects ratio. I don't think I'm going to be dealing with this anytime soon. But have you have you um, ever had to use this for a graph? I don't think I have. No, but it's something that I've dealt with on, t you know, like, um, with a TV or whatever, you know, aspect ratio is something you think about, uh, in a, in a think when you're watching TV or movies or something. Yeah. I don't remember where I learned about it. Yeah, I'm going to skip this part because I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> Fascinating elements. Oh no the the ratio. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, faceting elements. I would just assume if you change one one um graph, it will just um inherit it for the other graphs. Um, you faceting about, but I guess it's it's not the case. Oh, okay, so they've been ha oh yeah, so they have it on this too. Uh, so the strip background, the strip text, X, Y, panel spacing. Oh, I guess you can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, uh, so let's That's see. very interesting. I didn't know you could do this much work with faceting. <gasps> no, you have, you're coming up with all different types of ideas, applications. What? Oh, I thought that, I'm like, oh, you you're coming to like all different um ideas or. No, I'm not. I just didn't know that you could do that. I'm just interested in it. So. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is just the one on the left is just regular, facet, and then in the middle, you want to space them out, 
uh, I guess fifty fifty. No, it's one. It's a half inch. Oh, okay, a half inch. Cause I I don't know. I'm assuming that this entire space, the panel space is just one, and so or like it's one inch, and so or I don't know. I need to read more about it. So. Well, it's just, it's just, you can just, it, I mean, it's all relative. You can just figure out if you want it, if you like that one, then you, then you like it. But if you want it bigger, then you put in a bigger number. And if you want some, you know what I mean? Smaller, yeah. sm put in a smaller number. And you can also do centimeters, like half a centimeter would be much smaller. So. Okay. And then this one, you're customizing the, well, the text is A, B, white in the background. Uh, it's black, uh, or gray eighty, or gray mm -hmm. twenty. Uh, and the colors. It's gray eighty, and then the line width is one. So, it's just it's the strips of the, or the strip titles. Can you can you make that bigger so I can see it a little bit better? Yeah. It looks like there's a fill and a color, which means that there's probably. You big. Well, maybe if I. Oh, hi. Yeah, oh, I'm Danny, so sorry. How are you? It's good to see you. <laughs> hey. We're just going without you. Yeah. No, we don't. We 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 realized they just took our word. So there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I it's really looking... no big deal. I mean, how many times have you shown up and we not be here? So it's it's time you get <laughs> us back, right? So. No big deal. I have the system I'm using to browse. I can't find a Zoom link there. Oh, that's okay. Well, we didn't. So we didn't even. Call I just you checked. I just checked. I was thinking maybe it's not yet done because I know it's supposed to be four p.m. So I was like confused. When I now check my phone now, I now saw there was a Zoom link there. So let me try to join with my system. Okay. I miss. Uh, but you can go ahead with your presentation. I will, I'm falling out. Oh uh, no! I'm just I'm just rambling. Uh, I. I but yeah, can you? Is that better? I'm good. Oh, so, sorry. Uh, yeah, I can see. Pretty. There's like a little bit of a gray line around it, isn't there? Like a lighter, a um. It looks like a lighter line and then a darker fill. Yeah. Or, or the color. Yeah, the color is, but then those the, the line around it is I just I couldn't see that line around it, but that's that's small. So anyway, okay. Let's keep going. I wish they would use like more ugly colors like that, like over here. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. We should tell that's you know, you should put in a pull request and okay. tell them to use ugly a really ugly color <laughs> I can see it because it's hard to see with the pretty colors that they like yeah uh, I think that's about it and then it just talks about saving your work um I guess you could use a gg save as a shortcut um or you can use the pdf function oh I already know about that yeah so uh yeah that's that's about it but um uh, yeah have you guys read any other um like data visualization books because like everybody they used to everybody used to talk about edward tufty but his books are very for me they're very dense to get through i don't think of ever finish an Edward Tuf Tufty book I've um I have several of his books but I have never read them uh, okay I use I use books like that more as like resources than I do actually trying to go through and read them oh so, so like a encyclopedia like a Britannica or something yeah like I'm if I'm having trouble but I should go through and read it because I think that this it's it's really in different it's really you know like the people who have studied the craft they have a different they have a perspective that i really value so. okay yeah
So, but yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to read this book. I feel like a lot of crap everywhere, but um, can you see it? It's like the. Why don't you stop sharing screen? Oh, okay. And should we hit end? Let's hit yes. end. I think. Put yes, end yes, end. yes, yes. Okay. Um, I can type end. Should we stop?